what's up folks, I'm David Spacey. If you don't know who I am, I don't give a damn, folks. This year's April Fools. For me, it was pretty much the same. You know, seen it all, been there, done that. But apparently for this woman's family, that wasn't the case. I do April Fools Day jokes all the time, okay? This beautiful young lady decides to play an April Fools joke on her sister, as she should. I said, Helen, I shot my husband. I'm cleaning up the mess. Let's go bury him in Blackwater. Now, the first thing that came to mind to me was, who the fudge would believe some shit like that on April Fool's Day? You know that people are coming out of the woodworks with bullshit like that. But then again, I'm like, hey, motherfucker, I don't know her relationship with her husband. Maybe that's why the sister believed it. The sister could have been on the phone on the other line going, ah, oh, shit, I knew this bullshit was going to happen. Yeah, you heard correctly. She told her sister she murdered her husband. Sister Helen called another family member. Somebody called 911. And next thing I knew, there was law everywhere. So as you heard, the woman called her sister, told her that she murdered her husband. That sister called another family member, and eventually somebody called the motherfucking police. All this is proof that America's bloodline is mixed with black people. Because black families spread the news about each other like the motherfucking flu. There was law everywhere. The response was excellent. Kingsport police staged outside of Hudson's pastel yellow house, guns drawn as they prepared themselves for a bloody murder scene. The response was excellent. Is she talking about her sister's response or the law enforcement response showing up at the house? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. There was law everywhere. The response was excellent. Because I don't know where she comes from, and I'm not speaking for all black people, but for the most part, us black people, uh, it ain't nothing to brag about that police show up at your house. Be careful on the April Fool's jokes. <laughs> mm, what, what is that smell? <laughs> oh, okay, I see. That's some halitosis. Anyway, hopefully she learned, and many of you will, that sometimes you need to really think about the jokes you're about to pull on somebody, because sometimes shit goes too far. So, in the comments or with a video response, I want to know, what are some good April Fool's jokes that you've played on people over the years or you've heard about or seen somebody do? Me personally, this April Fool's, I sat my wife and my son down on the couch and I said, I love you guys, April Fool's, because I hate them motherfuckers. I'm just kidding. I didn't tell them that on April Fool's Day. I actually told them that back in February, I believe. Oh, I hate my family. Anyway, I'm David Spates. Now get that camera on my face, sucker. Hey, hey, listen to me. Whatever you do, don't move. He'll bite you in the penis. <laughs>